Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you just may not have seen it anywhere. In this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview and showing you some benchmarks for an IC Dock 2 bay enclosure. This fits into a 3.5 inch external drive bay and gives you hot swappable capability for two 2.5 inch drives on the outside, and it's also lockable. So let's take a closer look at the drive enclosure itself and I'll tell you all about it. Here we're taking a closer look at the Icy Dock 3.5 inch SATA mobile rack which supports two 2.5 inch SATA SSDs or hard disk drives. First thing you're going to notice on the front is we've got two removable bays here. They are hot swappable. They do support SATA 3, 6 gigabits per second, and you also have a lock on the front of the drive. So when the drive bays are locked, you don't have to worry about unauthorized users removing your data. So these are a great solution for uh, giving a higher density so, uh, storage solution in, in an environment with sensitive data. The entire body of the enclosure is a full metal construction and you have passive cooling here on the bottom and through the front. <clears throat> there are two LED lights in the front here that will indicate whether you have power to the drive, which is the green LED, and you have a amber LED, which will blink when there is activity on the drive as well. On the back of the enclosure itself, We've got one 15-pin power connector that will power both drives and then an individual SATA connector for the data for the drives themselves. This does install into a system simply like any other 3.5-inch drive. You've got your holes on the sides, they slide into the bay, and then you would use the included screws to connect it in and make sure that it doesn't move around. So let's pull out one of these drive bays and I'll show you that a little bit. So here we've got EMI shielding. So when the drive bay is in place, the EMI shielding keeps your system from getting, uh, protects your drives from, from damage. And it is an eagle hook here, so it connects in very nicely. Uh, button to release the connector and be able to pull the drive out. You do have a protector here that is installed into the drive base, so they are protected if there is no drive. The SATA connectors inside are protected if there's no drive installed in the slot. Installation is very simple. First thing you do is you remove the two screws to take the protective cover off. You're going to reuse those screws to put your hard drive into place. Then you place your two and a half inch drive into the tray put the screws into the bottom, the two that you took out, as well as two other screws which are included to secure the drive. You slide it back into the enclosure, push the latch, and it clips back into place. No problem there. I'm going to pull the other drive tray out. I actually already have an SSD installed, just so you can see what it looks like. So here we've got our SSD installed, and you've got your screws installed on the bottom here. Slides in and out of the drive enclosure very easily and latches nice and secure. This is definitely a nice little piece of equipment for use with a media server or HTPC or something that you're trying to have be a small form factor uh, system but you need a higher density of storage. Maybe you want to run RAID 0 or RAID 1 and you have limited room, perfect solution. You get two drives in there, you can run RAID, uh, no problem. The design with the one SATA 15 pin SATA connector is very nice, so you only need to have one power connector hooked up, and that reduces the cabling needed and also reduces the amount of mess with the cabling that's often associated with systems. 
it does require an external drive bay obviously to be able to get to the connectors um, but most systems that's not an issue on on the back of the box here you've also got some other information on the drive including all the specifications let me show you the accessories that it comes with and then we'll take a look at the benchmarks so here we've got screws for the tray one thing that's very nice about how they package these things is they label the bags so that you know which screws are for what you get four of these because there's two already in place in each of the drive trays that uh, hold the protective covers in place this is actually the protective cover from the drive bay that already has the drive installed definitely save these if you take them off that way if you decide to uh, take the drives out you can put them back in place and keep those SATA connectors protected you've also got the key for the lock and four screws included to be able to connect these into your three and a half inch drive bays and a quick little installation guide two pages gives you information on how to install the enclosure as well as the drive trays and it is in multiple languages so now let's take a look at the benchmarks for the uh, drive enclosure Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the overview, installation, and benchmarks for the IC Dock MB992SK-B uh, hard drive and two bay hard drive enclosure. As you can see from the benchmarks, it did not lose any performance whatsoever being with the drive being connected into this enclosure. And you get a nice piece of equipment here that you can use in a small form factor system, media server, or enterprise solutions even, as well as more harsh environments such as military law enforcement and industrial systems the lock also definitely serves a purpose so you don't have to worry about anybody uh, removing any data from your system without authorization so definitely check out the full review at www.hightechleading.com don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page Facebook and Twitter take care